Hi, no, mine's actually a picture coocher, so I'm on the time limit per slide. Um, my name is Gloria Blake. Um, the presentation is actually based on my master's proposal uh, in Fiji. So the title being Low Consumption of Vegetables in Urban Fiji, a Participatory Action Research uh, Combining uh, Talanoa Epistemology. So non-communicable diseases uh, are responsible for 70% of deaths worldwide, 82% of the 16 million who died prematurely occur in low and middle income countries and are driven by four factors, tobacco use, physical inactivity, the harmful use of alcohol and unhealthy diets. In the Pacific, um, the World Health Bank has accounted for 70 to 75 percent of all deaths related to NCDs, and the World Health Organization found that in 10 Pacific Islands, 50 to 90 percent of their populations are overweight, and a further 30 to 50, uh, 80 percent are obese. In Fiji, uh, they account for 80 percent of all deaths, and um, a doubled people have doubled in their NCD prevalence in terms of being overweight, leading to causes. Um, and of the leading causes in deaths and hospitalizations in Fiji. Woohoo, caught up, yay. Um, yeah, moving on. Globalized um, eating patterns have changed. Um, one suggested reason is the move away from traditional uh, diets, such as dalo and cassava, otherwise known as taro and manioc, uh, to alternatives such as bread and rice. Um, yeah. So what we what I found leading up to that is that overall consumption for fruit and vegetables was really low in Fiji. Something like 10% of the popula population actually eat the recommended dietary intake, and about Pacific 15% uh, don't eat any fruit or vegetables at all. Um, so there was an ethnic difference in terms of fruit uh, consumption, but not for um, sorry, other way around. Oh, now I'm behind. Um, so there are things that need to be considered, customs, culture, intergenerational eating patterns, social media, the benefits of um, eating a healthier diet. Um, and then I considered, well, youth. And combining participatory action research and Talanoa, it's a change-orientated method, therefore why don't I include youth? Why don't I focus on them? The median age in Fiji is 25 and Pacific a youth are vital for future development of the nation and the region. So these came up with, this has developed my research questions. What are the views of youth regarding consumption of fruit and vegetables and what strategies do they believe are most viable for increasing fruit and vegetable consumption? This should hopefully lead on to my methodology. Participatory action research. So as I mentioned, it is, um, change orientated, uh, you work with those who are consumers, who are therefore the experts in their field as they are living the reality. You work with them in uh, different ways, including focus group discussions, focus group discussions to establish, um, yeah, what their thoughts are, their feelings. Uh, the epistemology and the principles that I have combined with participatory action research is Talanoa, um, for Pacific, by Pacific, um, for Pacific communities, in this case being, being half Fijian, for Fijian youth and Fijian communities. So I will be conducting uh, three focus group discussions with, that all include open-ended questions, um, and they, the youth will be considered co-researchers. They will be helping to develop all aspects of this research in conjunction with me, as they, as I said, they are the experts in their field and they know their issues. Recruitment, I'm working with the YMCA in Suva in Fiji to um, find six to eight young Fijians um, who are 20 to 30 years old and live within the boundaries of Suva, Fiji as it is the only metropolis in the country and where majority of obesity is occurring. So data collection, there'd be three focus groups over three to four weeks. Uh, the first one would be to build that trust, get to know each other, break the ice in essence, followed by um, looking at their ideas and the community views of eating fruit and vegetable and the perceptions around that, and then leading on to sharing strategies and developing strategies for change. Our data analysis is all done by thematic analysis, looking at the main points that, or main um, themes that come through and what they've discussed as the groups and what they think is most important for change. Yes, 
So ethics, as I'm sure you can all appreciate, is a very long and um, cumbersome process. And I am working with the Auckland University of Technology uh, to do my master's. I finally have the application finished. Um, as I've mentioned, the location is in Suva in Fiji. Um, a part of the surveys that the country have already done for the Ministry of Health found that there was no, um, there was no difference in consumption for vegetables irrelevant of uh, location. So therefore I looked at urban as there are a lot more people and a lot more opportunities there. Uh, timetable for completion, this is where we are so far. I'm slowly slipping behind thanks to ethics, but I'm tending to catch up like I do with this presentation. And finally, references, um, as you can see. And any questions, anyone? 